The movie begins a long time ago, but still in this galaxy. These are the Minions, which is conveniently also the name of this movie. They don't have any private parts, but they still cover up those areas. The Minions' mission is to be Minions to the most evil creature on Earth, and even though they're terrible at their job, they still manage to get hired by the top villain each time. I guess it helps when the previous one died, meaning they wouldn't be able to provide a reference. One Eye, Two Eyes, and two different colored eyes decide to search America for their new villain because all of them going would be way too hard to tell them apart. They really like banana because they're the same color as them, and as the saying goes, you are what you eat. The minions want to go to the wizarding world of Harry Potter in Orlando, so they try to hitch a ride. Unfortunately, they're as bad as hitchhiking as Mr. Bean. This family picks them up, does a quick bank heist so they can afford to go on all the rides and buy all the merchandise when they get to Universal before arriving at their destination. Unfortunately, it's the year 1968 and Universal Orlando has not yet opened and Harry Potter has not yet been thought of, so the location is occupied by Villain Con. Luckily, the minions are looking for a villain, so this has actually worked out pretty well. Still would have been nice to have a ride on the flight of the Hippogriff though. This fella clearly hasn't seen Avengers Endgame because that is not how time travel works. That person's wearing red and blue 3D glasses. That's my thing. They must be a subscriber. And you could be too, just by hitting that button. Different Colored Eyes is so evil that he's stolen Mr. Bean's teddy. And that's two Bean references in the same video. Let's go for a hat trick. The minions become the minions to Red Dress Lady and are tasked with stealing the English crown. So it's off to London, baby. They're stealing my dance moves. Got it. Oh, so close. There we go. Oh, not quite. Third time lucky. No. So, different colored eyes, pulls the sword in the stone, and gets given the crown. Should have just started with that method. Would have saved a lot of time. Cut to the other minions who are on their way from misery to happiness can be. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I never knew Australia was only 10 minions away from India. I reckon I could jump that. Check out some Bollywood flicks. I knew it. Rocket science is way too rocket science-y to actually go to the moon. Red dress villain is not happy. She wanted the crown. So she tries to steal the crown. So the minions try to steal it back. Then red dress tries to steal it back. Then Gru from those other movies gets the final steal. The minions are commanded by the queen for some reason, even though they stole the crown in the first place. And the movie ends setting up Despicable Me. <laughs> Just kidding. This film made a billion dollars. That means it's getting a Minions The Rise of Gru. And that is, wait a minute, I didn't make a third Mr. Bean reference. Um, some of this movie takes place in England. England is where Mr. Bean lives. There we go, I did it. You're welcome. And that is what they call a low quality recap of Minions. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to obliterate that like and subscribe button. I'm just kidding. Only do it with enough force that it registers. I don't want any of you breaking your phones. Also, let me know in the comments what I should recap next. All right, bye.